My name is Daniel Reinhardt, and today I'll be giving a speech on the types of honey. The general purpose is to tell you that there's different types. There's deer hunting, there's turkey hunting, and there's squirrel hunting. And I'm going to tell you the differences and how each of them have their uh, own unique quality. Hunting is a way of life. It, it's a stress reliever. It, it helps you forget about your problems. It, it makes you realize how beautiful the world actually is. Hunting brings you closer with your father. It, but, but first, I would like to tell you about deer hunting. Deer hunting is a laid back type of hunting. You usually sit in a box stand or a lean up stand. You have to be quiet and still for the for the most part. You can move around some in a box stand, but not very much a lean up. And you usually have to wear a decent, a good bit of uh, clothing to be sure that you stay good and warm because for deer hunting. Secondly, I would like to tell you about turkey hunting. You usually have to chase the turkey down. It's not like deer hunting. You sit there and wait on it. You have to go after it. And you have to call them up. You have to have decoys out. And, uh, you have to be extremely still. Once, uh, once they uh, walk up to you. The turkey's gob was worth waking up for in the morning. Like deer hunting sometimes isn't very easy to wake up for, but turkey hunting is. The turkeys make unique sounds such as purring, drumming, and putting. Turkeys have to at least be around 60 yards for you to shoot them. So that's what makes it more exciting too because it has to be actually up close to you. Lastly, I would like to tell you about squirrel hunting. Squirrel hunting is exciting and involves a lot of walking. You you have you try to make a lot of noise when squirrel hunting to make the squirrels move or run around the tree. And you usually bring a dog with you when you go to uh, make sure you can see the uh, squirrels and whatnot. You usually bring at least four people, and it it involves a squirrel hunting involves a lot of walking, and you have to shake vines and all that. And the conclusion to all of this is is hunting makes you a better person. It it gives you memories that you'll never forget uh, with your dad. Uh, family, friends, and it just it it's hard to beat sometimes. And and another good thing about hunting is you can eat what you kill, or you have to clean it, and it puts food on the table. And hunting it also keeps you uh, very active, and it keeps you in shape. And that's it.